Hello, good evening, and welcome to another edition of the Animus Workshop Family Fun Time Quiz. I'm your host, as always, except for last week when it was Lily, Paul! Wow, can you believe it? Ten weeks! Ten whole weeks of me, and ten whole weeks of you, putting up with me. So, you all deserve one big pat on the back. I'm, I'm not giving you a bonus point because that's, that's just too easy and this is a quiz. And you need to be smart to do this quiz, or at least have some sort of brain. But as it is our tenth week, I thought, wow, I should probably dress up, do something snazzy. So, I went through my cupboard, and I thought, uh, well, I didn't really have any smart clothes. So I just chucked on all of my outfits from the previous weeks. And, you know, it's, it's much hotter than I anticipated. So on with the quiz! All you need to play along at home is a pen, some paper, and your brain. Now round one. Question 1. Name the animal pictured below. Name the animal pictured below. Question 2. What are Krakatoa, Etna and Mauna Loa? What are Krakatoa, Etna and Mauna Loa? Question 3. Which planet in our solar system is thought to weigh two and a half times that of all the other planets combined. Which planet in our solar system is thought to weigh two and a half times that of all the other planets combined? Question 4. What is Thomas Edison's most famous invention? What is Thomas Edison's most famous invention? Question 5. Which gas makes up 90% of all natural gas? Which gas makes up 90% of all natural gas? Question 6. Which is the most sensitive of the five senses? Which is the most sensitive of the five senses? Question 7. In the term E equals MC squared, what does E stand for? In the term E equals MC squared, what does E stand for? Question 8. Opium is derived from which plant? 
Opium is derived from which plant? Question 9. Which animal is pictured below? Which animal is pictured below? Question 10. What name is given to a young whale? What name is given to a young whale? Round two! Question one. Where did the Titanic start its maiden voyage on April 10th, 1912? Where did the Titanic start its maiden voyage on April 10th, 1912? Question 2. The shortest war in human history was the Anglo-Zanzibar War between England and Zanzibar in 1896. Approximately how long did it last? I'll give five minutes either side. And that might be a clue. Question 3. Fill in the blank. The Spanish blank was a tribunal to combat heresy. The Spanish blank was a tribunal to combat heresy. Question 4. What was the name of the doll invented and launched in 1959? What was the name of the doll invented and launched in 1959? Question 5. Which occurred most recently? The Iron Age or the Bronze Age? Which occurred most recently? The Iron Age or the Bronze Age? Question 6. Which two brothers are associated with the invention of the aeroplane? Which two brothers are associated with the invention of the aeroplane? Question 7. What was the first machine to use electricity to send messages? What was the first machine to use electricity to send messages? Question 
Question 8. Who is considered to be the founder of modern nursing? Who is considered to be the founder of modern nursing? Question 9. Which country did Joan of Arc try to set free from English domination? Which country did Joan of Arc try to set free from English domination? Question 10. What was the name of the cultural movement that began in Florence, Italy around 1350? What was the name of the cultural movement that began in Florence, Italy around 1350? Now, round three. Find the word that completes both phrases. Question one. Fire, blank, blank, eater. Question 2. Phone, blank, blank, mark. Phone, blank, blank, mark. Question 3. Red, blank, and blank, stitch. Red, blank, and blank, stitch. Question 4. Blue, blank, and blank, hopper. Blue, blank, and blank, hopper. Question 5. Rocking blank and blank shoe. Rocking blank and blank shoe. Question 6. Jumping blank and blank knife. Jumping blank and blank knife. Question 7. Dancing blank and blank B. Dancing blank and blank B.
Question eight. Down, blank, and blank where? Down, blank, and blank where? Question nine, hot blank and blank mark. Hot blank and blank mark. Question 10. Net blank and blank gravity. Net blank and blank gravity. And the answers for those previous rounds are as follows. Now would be the perfect time to stop, take a break, and grab. You know what that sound means? It's time for a bonus round, baby! Bonus round! This week's bonus round is body parts. As requested by our good friend Amanda, who's a nurse. So before we begin, let's give Amanda and her nursey friends a quick round of applause. Thank you for all your hard work. And keep on keeping on. But in true Animus Workshop form, we're not going to make this round easy. And we're not going to make this round hard. We're going to make it plain weird. Just weird. So you're going to have 10 weird names for body parts. And you're going to have 10 descriptions. You've got to link the names with the descriptions. It's as simple as that. 
but if you realise this round isn't for you, just skip to minute 24 and a half and continue with round 4. So, without further ado, let's begin! You have 5 minutes to complete this round. Feel free to pause it should you want more time, or feel free to skip ahead if it's not for you.
Now round four. Now round four. Now round four. Question one. Who is the Greek god of the underworld? Who is the Greek god of the underworld? Question 2. Australia, the Bahamas and Singapore all use what form of paper currency? Australia, the Bahamas and Singapore all use what form of paper currency? Question 3. Which country ends with the letter Q? Which country ends with the letter Q? Question 4. Which river flows through Paris? Which river flows through Paris? Question 5. What is the visual medium that includes cartoons and stop motion? What is the visual medium that includes cartoons and stop motion? Question 6. What is the name given to a monk's residence? What is the name given to a monk's residence? Question 7. What bone are babies born without? What bone are babies born without? Question 8. What famous fictional detective was created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle? What famous fictional detective was created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle? Question 9. Which Pixar film features characters named James P. Sullivan and Mike Wazowski? Which Pixar film features characters named James P. Sullivan and Mike Wazowski? Mike Wazowski. Question 10. What country does the Mamma Mia supergroup ABBA hail from? What country does the Mamma Mia supergroup ABBA hail from?
Round five. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And number 10.
Now round six. As this is the last weekly quiz we're doing for the time being, we've decided we're going to mash up some fan favourites. So we've got movie synonyms, we've got backwards intros, and we've got Tom Dayden's favourite, band name anagrams. Enjoy. Film synonym one, cropland of fantasy. Cropland of fantasy. Film synonym two, the pain trunk. The pain trunk. Film synonym three, the gloomy horseman. The gloomy horseman. Film synonym four, apparition apprehenders. Apparition apprehenders. Backwards intro number one. Backwards intro number two. Intro number three.
Backwards Intro 4. And the band singer anagram number one, Deep Zen Pill. Deep Zen Pill. Anagram number two, he saw you in me. He saw you in me. Anagram three, Mr. Jawbones. Mr. Jawbones. Anagram number four, Epic Hotel. Epic Hotel. And those previous answers were...
And the bonus round answers were... Let's hold the quizzing. We got time for forever. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, we're ending the weekly quizzes, but you know, and we'll be back. We're gonna do some specials, and we'll be back in the holidays. But in the meantime, I'm a very busy guy. Um, I've got like autographs to sign, and I was in a web series. I don't know if you've seen it, Luca Lely. If you haven't seen it, why don't you just pop on over to the rest of our channel and just have a look. Uh, I would wink there, but I can't wink. Um, anyway, I'd like to thank you all for playing along. And, uh, well, if this is your first quiz, welcome. Uh, there are also nine other quizzes to do, so, uh, you know, go and do them. Uh, as another wink, in case you didn't know. But, in the meantime, have a lovely day, and enjoy the summer or winter. Depends when you're watching this. It could be Christmas now, so Merry Christmas. All right. Happy Hanukkah, bye!